are y'all fighting over a man with pigtails? I know Tammy sometimes when it be like, what the f Can you imagine someone's like, I hope you know I got Tammy on your ass. And that's why I got what? her watching your ass and watching your ass <laughs> move. They gonna be on their best Yeah, behavior. you think you slick going out here? I've been watching your ass from the beginning. Tell the people why we excited, Bree. We are excited. excited because we are about to watch our auntie, Tammy Roman, the boss of baby. In her show, Caught in the Act, about to spy on some people. Welcome to another okay. episode of From the Couch. We're really excited today because mm -hmm. our first episode is this one. Have you seen any episodes? I have, I've seen a few episodes. This is hilarious. It is, it's very It's funny. very real and the tea is hot. Hot, baby. So are you ready to get into this? Yes, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And also leave any suggestions of stuff that we should watch that you think would be interesting to watch, funny to watch, whatever. We just gonna go ahead, jump in, caught in the act. Let's, Let's get it. Get into the nitty gritty. I have been cheated on before. I even wrote a book about it. Hey, she wrote a book about how she got cheated on? That's balls right there. Turn your pain into Dallas science. Together with my relationship coaches. I can't get over DJ and being a relationship <laughs> coach. Cause he cheated on his wife. He's the best person to ask. He's the expert. <laughs> Tammy! Tammy! <laughs> that gets me. This Why are shit. you screaming Tammy? She didn't cheat. So we just gonna dig right in. You came to me because you think there might be something going on in your relationship with Ricky. Ricky! Ricky! We've been together for five years now. What's that accent? How many kids you have? I have two. Two. Two a do. Two, two a do. do. She might be from Baltimore. Two a do. Two a do from <laughs> Baltimore. He works and manages a club. I don't know if it's actually the club or just the fact that he's so flirtatious. You shouldn't be working at a club if you're flirtatious. I got the password to his phone. So I go through the phone. She gonna see some that she don't wanna see. If you look, you gonna find it, girl. Go on Instagram. In the DMs. In the DMs, dropping all kind of eggplants. Just let no. them know I'm vegetarian, that's all it is. <laughs> Just let them know that, you know, vegetables is, is, is a vital a part squash, of your nutrition. Eggplant, that's all it is, you know. like, get an eggplant. I dropped a tomato last week. Hit me on my shoulder. And she said, I need to let you know something. You his girlfriend, and he trying to holler at me. He all in my DMs. He's sending his eggplant everywhere. Now, how old is he? 10 years younger than me. My husband is 17 years younger than me. Well, they should be friends. <laughs> I mean, they have a lot in common. <laughs> your grandmother raised you, my <laughs> grandmother raised you. My you man got young, it. your, your man, man young. She be like, now Reggie ain't cheating on me though, but uh. We just need to get together and send them off to football practice. <laughs> <laughs> Hope she don't hate me for that. <laughs> you tied your tubes. Yes. 21? Oh. Damn. That's young. No doctor should let you do that. We're in the midst of trying to get my tube ligation reversed. I don't know if the surgery going to work. And do you want to do that with a man that's There's dropping his eggplant dropping egg everywhere? Plants. What you're willing to do is a major step. Yes. So I can see how that's important to you and why you need to know the truth. I love how Tammy takes this so seriously and not even in like a joking way. Like she's mm -mm. like, yeah, she's committed. like, we got to get to the bottom of this, but also because she's anchored in it because she has a yeah, because she she a connection yeah. to it. I need to know where these clubs is at. He hang out, all of that stuff, so that I can give it to my investigation team. <laughs> That investigation team, baby. First of all, they change every episode. They do. Her team is wide. She got a big team. Don't let on with Ricky that we are actually surveilling him. <laughs> Don't let him know. <laughs> Can you imagine someone's like, I hope you know I got Tammy on your ass. <laughs> it's like, and That's why I what? got Come around here watching your ass and watching your ass like, move. They gonna be on their best Yeah, behavior. you think you sick going out here? I'm watching your ass. I've been watching your ass from the beginning. Headed to Star and Ricky's house. See, who's this lady? Who's Patrice? <laughs> All the black people like, we too tired, Tammy. <laughs> Bitch, we go to sleep. Bitch, you did not say that it was going to be all I'm day. I'm driving around. Bananas. There ain't no food, no lunch break, no benefits. Patrice said, I'm on it. Patrice like, yeah. I got sure. it. I got I my got hat it. on and my pencils. I'm yeah. ready to go. Ricky and... Dude, it's a he got a pink bonnet on his head. <laughs> I did it, black She's guys. She's thinking exactly what before. I'm thinking. F the girl, what's on your head? He owns this club. It's a young club, so of course I I would stick out like a sore thumb. I love how she said that. It's a young club. Black. 
It's a black club. I'm gonna stick out like a white thumb. What they did inside that bathroom, that's the problem. Because they could've been doing whatever. Why are you holding her hand? Like, run the club. You don't have to touch people. Ricky ain't shit. When I catch you, Ricky. When I catch you, Ricky. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky. All right, he's pulling in right here. Now, this house, none of my notes shows this address. Got notes. notes. Shutting the curtains. Ooh, did you see that? He's like, ah. Just came out of the house. It was like, talk about the devil. The what bone. is he dragging? He's taking the trash out. Oh, oh man, he's this, comfortable. he's been here before. That's his house. He's habitating. Habitating? Habitating? Habitat, I don't know. He's hibernating. That's not the word. <laughs> Never mind. Being a PI. So I'm gonna go in there and see what the hell because trash is coming. Oh, she's gonna go through the she trash. She's gonna go through the trash? That's how you be a PI, okay? Ooh. <laughs> she really in the trash. It's pretty empty. Patrice. <laughs> Patrice, go home, girl. And she got on a bright white ass hoodie. <laughs> She's white in the with, a of the white day with a white hoodie. White lady with a white hoodie. In Atlanta. Okay, so they came into this grocery store. Patrice hasn't slept all night. He's playing house with two women. Strife. How are you, star? I got the stomach out, the tatas out. It's giving Keisha Cole. I want to introduce you to Coach Ken. Coach Ken always look like he's about to go preach. So we see him go in the back. Can I get closer? You sure can. She gonna go through the screen. Oh, that's it right there. She said that's it right. You don't need I, to see I nothing else. I knew she else. was about to get booked when she was like, can I get closer to the TV? I just was at the doctor in vitro. In vitro is not cheap. How come I can't never see who he getting in that car with though? <laughs> she said, I never can see this bitch. Let's watch the end of this. I want to try for a baby again. Again? Again? There is a term called pocketing, where the person will have a relationship with you and keep you in their pocket. Mm hmm I came up with that term before it was a term. So ain't gonna be nobody's back pocket. You don't know about no pocketing. I've been girls' back pockets. Oh, I thought you saying you No, I don't put girls. nobody. I put everybody in, I take them out the pocket, but then they take <laughs> me and put me in the back pocket. <laughs> they put your ass in the they back put pocket. Me in the pocket. And when him and Jessica are together, then you can approach them. You see them? See this play? Okay. The takedown, because I want to drag down. <laughs> Keisha Cole is serious. I am going to contact my investigation team. Patrice? <laughs> Patrice is on the mood. She didn't sleep. She didn't eat. Patrice came prepared. She already she had, had gloves go. ready to go, not knowing that she was going to go through trash, trash that morning. Yeah. Never know, you always have to be prepared. The winning, we push. This suit, Jackie. Oh, yeah, With the tweed, baby. Oh, she look good. <laughs> At his big age, got pigtails in his hair. I'm just smack him on the side of his head. Big ass. Who the f is that bitch my surrogate? Why are y'all fighting over a man with pigtails? A fat man at that. He got bobos at the end of his hair. He got bolitas. Ladies, stand up. So all of this was because she wanted you to be able to tell her the truth. And you did not. Y'all need to be mad at him. Y'all had somebody on me this whole time? Yes. Y'all been following me? Yes. That's all That's they all care they about. Can... What I tell you? So with the cameras, bro. <laughs> y'all had somebody follow me, bro? <laughs> Are we going to try to get pregnant again? She can be like, y'all heard that too? <laughs> they got that on camera? Mm hmm <laughs> <laughs> I got that, man. And that's foul. Now that's foul. I might have cheated, but that's foul. You got your friend pregnant, and y'all lost a baby. So you're more than friends. You're a grown man. Just stand on your sh I want the truth. Truth is, I'm supporting my friend. You bought her a house in Dallas? Ain't bought nothing. But are you planning to move with her to Dallas? I may visit. <laughs> this <laughs> you let me talk to him separate. I got you. Yeah, because you want to tell two different stories. The way she cutting up, like she want a piece of this. Can you calm down for just... I don't look calm. No, <laughs> you don't. I don't look calm. All he got to tell me is she important and this deuces for that bitch. What if he says he wants to be with you? I think about it. No, don't think about it. There's nothing to think about. Stupid, bro. Tammy, I don't want to talk to you no more. I'm trying to con this situation. To Tammy. I, I thought you was here to help. <laughs> now he's blaming her. <laughs> now he's blaming her. He's a mess. You gotta tell both of them how you feel. You gotta just keep it a buck and tell the whole truth. I've been telling the truth. He is getting on my nerves. He's a jackass. I got it. I got Grandy. You promised Granny my grandma my before she died that it was me and you against the world. He's a liar. He's a liar. Grandma didn't see that, but he's a liar. Ricky really played me to the fullest extent. We were having a baby together, and I lost our baby. 
and I went through that loss by myself. Wow, because he wasn't there. I'm with Star, I'm with Star, you know what I'm saying? You need to be with Jesus. He's gross. I would be like, don't ever say my name a day in your life. Never trust a grown man with bolita. <laughs> Hey there, Star. Hey, Sammy. She better not be with him, okay? Oh, new hair. So are you and Ricky still together? We are together. <laughs> what the f You gotta be kidding me. No. Are you still continuing the process with the surgery? You can have the baby. The process is still in motion. Oh, Lord. Jesus. I told Ricky, I feel like we need some type of deep counseling. Mm. Counseling? No, you need your own counseling by yourself. I know Tammy sometimes want to be like, what the f***? <laughs> Just want to wring y'all's neck. Why do you want to be with him? Because I genuinely love him. Oh, what's love got to do with it? Got to do with it. Got, got to, to do, do with it. It, it ain't got to do with it. You know what? I have no words then because you can't tell a person who to love. I, I will. No Don't Literally. love him. <laughs> I will. Don't love Literally, him. He wears bolitas. You're crazy. <laughs> bye bye. Well, listen, man. That like was Tammy said. Interesting to say the least. You can't tell people who they should love. I have no words. I have no words. It was entertaining, but my mind is blown. Hey, whatever. I'm gonna pray for her. I've already clapped for Tammy for the show, but let's go ahead and give Tammy another clap for this show because I love this show. One of my new favorite shows. You did it again, Tammy. Did it again, T. Did it again. Look, guys, we had a lot of fun with y'all. This is From the Couch. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, see you later. Peace.